Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and I welcome you in a business guide. In this guide, I will show you how you can easily start your own nonprofit in Florida. This is a step by step from start to finish. So I'm going to show you how you can do it effective, secure and fast way. So let's start and jump right to the video. The first thing you want to do is just scroll down below onto this video in the description and click on the link. When you will do it, you will get right here to Inkfile. Inkfile is an amazing company that's going to help you start your own nonprofit in Florida. And what I like about it is that how effective it is, because I believe that we should focus on running the nonprofit, not that taking too much care about administration, uh, like accounting and also how to start a business because then we are losing the focus everywhere. We are all, we have the att attention everywhere, but nowhere we are like, bam, we're not pointing to something and like, okay, I need to go this way only and running and providing value to people. So that's what I would recommend uh, to just like leave it for someone to do it for you to start a nonprofit. So here you want to click on a, when you're going to be an ink file, click start my business. Then you're going to have the LLC here or you want to click non-profit and then state of formation. We're going to find Florida. So let's go right here. Here it is. So then you're going to have three packages here. So you're going to have silver, gold and platinum package. With the silver package, you're going to have uh, the basics, free registered agent service, unlimited name searches, preparing, filling articles of organization. But with the gold package, that's what I call a middle way. You're going to have covered everything with the business tech consultation, registered agent service for a year, corporation bylaws, IRS form. So with that, I would recommend going with the gold package, uh, which in which you would have all. And then you're going to have the platinum one. So you would have an expedited filling in domain name, business email address and also business contract templates as a bonus. Expedited filling means that your non-profit would be filled faster. But even if you're going to choose the gold package later in the tutorial, in the video, in the guide, you will have options to upgrade for expedited filling directly with the gold. So click here on the gold package. And then you're going to choose the contact person. So first name, last name and everything. So here, I will simply go and find this first name, Marcus Tonelius. I'm writing my name, gmail.com. And then I'm going to add a phone number. And then I'm going to also add the street address, city and state and also zip code. So now you will click simply next year. And the next step you're going to have it is should your nonprofit corporation have members. So you're going to see the 96, 96 selection rate is not. Now the most more nonprofits elect not to have a formal membership structure and thus avoid documenting and maintaining membership roles as well as avoiding the time and expense of having the members vote on directors and other major corporate decisions. This is really great only because it's going to, um, like you're not going to have too much administration and that's what I recommend definitely to have. Or you can have the nonprofit will have members, but then you're going to have like much more administration. Then you're going to have the general purpose of nonprofit. So you see right here, the 96 cell selection rate public benefit. So if you're going to have be religious, click here for religious. If no, choose the basic one. Then you're going to click next year. And then you're going to have uh, the state filling time. So we're going to have options to even here to have 45 business days or 10 weeks. What I like is that even when you're going to choose the 45 business days, it's still you can have plenty of time to focus on, on a lot of stuff. So you have option here. So as I mentioned that if you're going to choose the gold package, then you're going to have non-profit name. So here I'm going to, let's say, write marketing Marcus. And let's say I do marketing services for small starting business owners. That's my non-profit. And then you're going to choose the designator. 
and you create your own name of the nonprofit and number of directors and owners. You need to have minimum of three. And then you can have the business purpose. So I'm going to write here marketing service for small business owners. And then when I have it, I'm going to write also the industry keyword. So let's say this is going to be the marketing service or marketing consulting services. And then we're going to have the company address information here. So as you can see, I'm going to have the professional business address or I can use my own. So these are the two, two like differences that you can have the professional business address that you would maintain privacy by using commercial address or you can use your own address. And then you would simply choose a address here and mailing address information. Is the mailing address as the same as the company address above? Yes, no, you choose it right here and then press next again. Then you're gonna have the premium service package here. So you're gonna find that uh, you're gonna have option to upgrade that's something what you can do or don't need to do then directors so here you're going to add all the directors in your nonprofit. so maybe that's going to take you a little bit of time so just fill it out and then i'm just like making making things up so you can understand how it works then you're going to have the offer stream information. So you're going to have the select president. Marcus Jewish. Okay. President, secretary, treasurer, and you're going to add just the people. And the vice president's optional. You can read about, about every single positions here in my camera window. And then when you're going to have it, press next again. Now you're going to have the option to have a registered agent and you can have it with the ink file. So ink file will cover it for you completely, or you can act as your own registered agent. So these are the two options, what you can do. And then you're going to have why use the registered agent. These are the old reasons. And when you're going to have it and uh, you're going to have free for the first year. So why not use ink file? Then you would press next year. And then you're going to have the text identification number. So the ink file will apply it and obtain number from IRS electronically. And you would simply choose a name here and then simple assistant number. And then you're going to have the physical street address. And when you got everything, you're going to press next. Then you're going to have the setting up small business banking so you can easily uh, start your own bank account, open it with Bank of America and the small business specialist will contact you. I don't know if you need it, if you, <clears throat> if you want it, but you can have it. Yes. Or not at this time. And then again, press next year and then free consultation. So this is something that I would definitely recommend to have with ink file. So it click here. Yes. I would like to receive the business tax consultation or not. I'm not interested. So this is again, completely up to you if you choose it or no. And this is something you can do. And then when you have it, you would press next again, and then you're going to have the review order. So you can understand the ink file, uh, like what did you actually ask for? So you would review it step by step, and then you would press next again, and then you're going to have the billing information. So here in billing information, you just add the first name, the card number and everything. And that's pretty much it, how you do it. So this is how you can simply start your own nonprofit in Florida. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you and provide you some guidance and support. And that's pretty much it. So thank you. Have a great day and goodbye. See ya.